chest is quite late. I kind of <laughs> forgot about it, to be honest, but my third queen pops out there, and my harvester count is kind of low, but you see I take a third, and I'm making even more, and yet yeah, another queen, and this, uh, what is he doing? So he has a ghost academy. He's now getting nukes. I think, oh, I think this is the game. <laughs> Something interesting happens. And, uh, well, it's interesting. You'll see. But I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure I agree with his decision here, to be honest. Um, well, both these decisions. Number one, making this a planetary. Um, I don't know. Usually a planetary is for, like, a third or definitely a gold. But for your natural, you, you you probably want an orbital just because you can increase that mule production and you have um, another source for scans and stuff. I'm not th this probably wasn't the best decision, but I mean, who's perfect? And then the other thing is putting these two bunk well the bunkers are good, but putting marauders in each because again he didn't see any roaches and. Um, at this point, I probably would have had ro roaches, so you can assume that I don't. And, uh, again, marauders aren't very good at blings, especially if there's a whole ton running in. Marauders in here will do almost nothing. So, uh, marines would probably be best. But he is, uh, he, he is doing pretty good, though. He's macroing fairly well, better, <laughs> better than I am at this point. And, uh, you know, making more barracks here. And actually, yeah, he's really marauder heavy, and I'm not sure why, because he didn't see anything that marauders would be good against. Oh, but he is making a nuke, and that's interesting. Deal up to 300 damage. Huh. I didn't actually know it was that much, but I have like 14, 12 mutas, and I'm just, uh, I really like my mutas. <laughs> I... I really do. They they actually help me win the game a lot of times and they save my ass a lot. So I'm making those and finally getting my bailing speed. That was really late. I forgot about that as well. But you can also see I'm getting two two upgrades or well, two attack. I will get two armor here at some point soon. And I have my fourth. I'm kinda neglecting the drones here my multitasking isn't very good yet that's part of what I'm working on but oh wow my I'm an idiot huh I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry guys I'm uh I'm gonna rewind here a little bit because I missed some you to harass and that's there we go okay so I fly in I do kill a good amount of harvesters here or actually almost all of them he stems and I mean, I guess that's an okay idea. If he could have killed the mutas, it definitely would have been worth it. But at this point, he has no medvac, so that's actually really bad. And, well, actually, yeah, that is just bad in general since he doesn't have medvacs. And I did, um, let's see, do I remember this correctly? Yeah, so I've killed 17 workers. That's a pretty big deal there. Because, I mean, he really, if you look at this, and he's not making any more either. So, um... It's 41 harvesters to 17, and I'm still low, because even if you're on two base as a zerg, you should have 60 harvesters, and I'm on three, and I don't even have 50, so I am low, but he's running off of two base and only has 17, and uh, that is, that's not good, and he's still not making more. I don't really, I guess maybe because he has a lot of minerals and he thinks he's good to go, but my mutas are just chilling out here. I make more. I'm getting my upgrades. Um, and you see, I haven't made a lot of units. Like, I have not made many since that first attack. And that's uh, that's what I'm learning to kind of do better since Zerg is really uh, reactionary is just drone up. Just drone the hell up. Like, drone so much. And then when you see them moving out, which is you need good map control, that's key. Or map vision and when you see them moving out like that just produce units and um, if you do it right I used to be really bad at it but I'm getting better if you do it right uh, you can usually hold it off and 
this is something also you should do not desert but any race if you see them moving out counter attack like that is a really good thing to do because his army's way over here and it's doing a lot of damage to me or well it's going to in a minute excuse me um and actually yeah the game is not too um it, it's pretty close to being done i can find my words there and i do move in here but probably not the best thing to do since he had tanks on the high ground i get annihilated but meantime i've i've killed like his entire base like i've killed his expansion supply depots he's now supply blocked and i think in a bit here i'll move in with mutas and kill even more and he is rallying troops which is good well actually kind of but and now there's a ghost here and this new oh my god i am not sure how this didn't ki like how i don't lose this because i cannot figure out where this is since i don't have vision of him this kills everything <laughs> so you see that just like that just i was at my keyboard i just like took my hands off my mouth and i was just like oh my god are you kidding me <laughs> and i do not know how i survived this but you see moves in really quick i want to show you see now i've destroyed i'm just I'm basically going to destroy everything in here with my mutas, and that's part, that's basically what does win me the game, to be honest, because he is so supply blocked, he can't make anything, and all brew things help so much. And you see here, I do clean that up, and I lose my mutas, and my, and the tank uh, kills the zerglings, so I'm like, damn, I am screwed, but, but. This is why you expand and stuff. I'm making lings over here. I've thrown up three spot, ugh, spine crawlers. I put down a fourth base, and I'm still killing like everything with my mutas. And finally, I'm actually smart about it and kill these uh, reinforcements, which was I should have done a long time ago. Because since they're rallied, if you uh, rally them, they don't attack um, anything that's attacking them. Like until they get to the rally point. So you see here, he's killing my stuff and. I'm a little late on it, but uh, I do throw up the uh, spawning pool down here, I think, once I see that he's killing this one, but it's a bit late. Yeah, you see, uh, I throw it up, but um, yeah, right now, I'm just, I mean, I have still 16 mutas, and I just, I've killed like everything in his base, and I don't know. Like, it's one of those things where it's hard to tell. Would he have been better off to pull back all his marines and kill my mutas? Because all those marines could have killed my mutas for sure. But, like, especially if they stemmed. But then would I have just out macroed him so much he would have lost anyway? You know, it's one of those things where you really, you know, I don't know what would have been best. This obviously didn't work too well because if you can't tell, he probably will lose. Because actually with this amount of marines and their health, I could probably take these just with these mutas. And he GG's here pretty soon because you'll see he uh, he follows his drone up here. Run drone to kill these. And I have some zergling spine crawlers and stuff. And that's just, marines are no match for that. And you see I was sending my mutas back too. Because I was like, there's no way I'm losing this. But uh... Yeah, I do manage to win somehow. Uh, that nuke, that was a very nice nuke. People don't use nukes anymore. Well, not anymore. Very much. And um, I don't know why. I mean, I guess in the high, high levels of play, they're not that effective because the players can detect them. But uh, with this, you know, uh, he got me pretty, pretty good with that nuke. And I'm surprised my mood to save me that's honestly what saved me and just the fact i had expand did expanded <laughs> so yeah he says i hate mutas and i can sympathize with that sympathize man i am having problems with words today uh because i used to play terran like when the like a long time ago and i used to get wrecked by mutas so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i I forgot how entertaining nukes were to watch, so I hope that was entertaining. 
If you enjoyed it, please rate and comment. And if you would like to see more, go ahead and subscribe. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.